All right, guys. So we're changing the uh, transmission fluid on this uh, transmission in my car, and it's probably gonna spill everywhere. But I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do. It's got like 89 bolts in it. Starting a, a leak on me. And it also looks kind of black, so I think it's a good thing that I'm changing it. But yeah, definitely a bad design on Ford's behalf because uh, it's kind of hard to change your fluid when you can't change it. You just like spill it all over the ground. There's no drain plug in this. That's why I'm taking the pan off. It's supposed to be uh, what's called a, a uh, forever lasting transmission. And that's not really true because transmission fluid gets cooked after a while. And therefore it burns up the trans. And this trans has probably 50,000 miles on it if it was changed. But if it wasn't, then it's probably got more like all the miles on it, which is 109 now that I've been driving it. So I went ahead and bought uh, the right Mercon or the fluid from Ford, which is Motorcraft. And I'm going to put the right fluid in it. So it's actually cheaper to buy this fluid than to buy the cheap stuff at the store. Just kind of weird. And I also got a filter for it, and that's Motorcraft too, so that way I don't have any uh, transmission problems. You probably want safety glasses, but I don't need it. So now we've uh, created a health concern, but we're going to go ahead and take this last bolt out, which I hope it's the last bolt because I'm not going to crawl in this fluid. Alright. That's a lot. I cannot reach that. Alright. So here's the uh, new filter. It's a Motocraft filter. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. And uh, that went in my eye. <laughs> and then the uh, seal is still stuck in here for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and get a screwdriver real quick. I don't know if this is actually stuck in here. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it's definitely stuck in here. So I gotta get this little seal off. All right, so I'm gonna try to pry this out because I'm pretty confident that this is not supposed to be in here. Um, oh. So we're going to put this on here, and I got the seal out. It was pretty hard to get out. I don't remember how it goes on, but I'm going to put it on. You're putting it in the wrong hole. Yeah, that seal. Is That's the wrong hole. <laughs> nah. There you go. There's the right one. It was the same hole. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna hit it a few more times. <laughs> Just to make sure it's in there, because I don't want it to fall out and then not have any filter. All right, so that's probably good. I'm gonna go ahead and inspect it to make sure it's in there. And uh, it's not in there. <laughs> And now we're going to put the gasket on and the pan and then put fluid in it. So uh, this thing is not like I want it to be, but... I think it's all the way in there. <laughs> definitely been in there for a while. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this down again because there's dirt all over it still. And I've got the pan cleaned. I've cleaned it with uh, Purple Power and uh, dish soap and our uh, dish uh, scrubber and we're going to go ahead and put this pan on and I see something weird, no nah, that's just part of the casting By the way, everybody, I was lying about the nitrous. I, I never got that. So I just want you all to know that I'm lying. <laughs> and it's definitely not because uh, my CDI box blew out. I just like started it and tried to like take it mm, to school and then like it blew out. So I wasn't able to make it to school that day. Just kidding. I took this, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't physically do this. Yeah.